Well, first of all, we did ask people, or you did rather, ask people to put suggestions in the comments yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. Well, you haven't even looked at them, so. No, I figured you'd look at them. I have been busy, and I haven't looked at them. No. <laughs> I've actually, no, I've seen a lot of them. There's so many, and uh, one thing I did want to touch on today is, uh, uh, is how out of touch we are with the entire music industry. Well, I'm, you know? that's, that's the truth. I'm really out of touch. Uh, we were talking about something yesterday about the new uh, the quality of what new, the new sounds, and you know I'm, I'm old school and blah blah blah. You know, two inch tape and you know <laughs> vinyl, and uh, so it's like. And you said you're listening with old ears, you know, and um, and boy, that just really struck home to me. Because, yeah, I, I, it's like as if, you know, the people who were complaining about, you know, the cars are, you know, suddenly haven't got room for the horses, you know, and wind up phones and all the business. I'm one of those old people who still, you know, listening with 1967 and 72 years, you know, and uh, not thinking about how far we have progressed, you know, it's like... Uh, Ah, I still want the old, uh, I'll pop it, you know, <laughs> rather than stereo and then quad sound and uh, quality. And, and it, I, I'm, uh, yeah, it, it really struck me. I'm, I'm so out of touch with what uh, sounds good. Don't listen to radio, don't own a TV, hadn't owned a TV since they went digital. I haven't seen the news since the Gulf War. So I'm totally out of touch. We don't listen to stuff. It's just accidental that I find out if Eric Clapton or anybody I know is anywhere around because I'm not involved in all of that, you know. Uh, we're well, especially we're now, busy doing our thing. Since we've moved so far away from everything, it's even more so. Well, but, yeah, that's a physical thing. Well, and the reason why I brought it up is because we're one, or I have been wondering what to do about the record that I'm working on. So it is our record, but uh, I've been working on it for some time. But you don't have to tell anybody how long, it's just too long. But <laughs> the thing is, is, today, the way it works is you don't just slap a record out there. You, no. It just doesn't work like that. It's a whole lot more involved. Yeah, so, you know, there's a lot of... I didn't have a clue on. until you started going and doing all the research as to how involved uh, things are, you know, uh, about free releases and all this kind of stuff. I didn't, you know, I didn't know about that, you know. So you don't know what you don't know until you find out. You know, only then can you uh, correct your uh, error in judgment, you know, uh, if, if that was the case. It's just, just didn't know. You don't know what you don't know. Well, it used to be that, uh, you know, if you were fortunate enough that you would get signed to a label and they would do all the work and, of course, it would come out of your pocket in, in, in the record sales and all that sort of thing. And, you know, it was pretty straightforward and most everybody was going after the record deal. And nowadays, <clears throat> the artist is left to do a lot of the legwork and, uh, you know, it's either you... you you do it, or you just floundering around you out left here. Behind. You know, yeah, so I, I get it now. You know, uh, it's not like in the days when you signed the Stax or Atlantic or, you know, Warner or, Brothers. Uh, Warner Brothers was the biggest record you know, company in the Motown or something. 80s and 90s. Yeah, and it's a completely different thing. So they expect the artists to go out there and raise funds, and they expect you to get all this social media put yeah. together and. It's, it's a lot, you know, it is a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, we're just, we're way behind the times and honestly just didn't even want to do that stuff. <laughs> no, hell no. I, that's not, my head's not there. Oh, well, I know that. <laughs> but it's, it's not in the clouds either. You know, I'm, I'm open for suggestion and 
try new things, you know. So I guess we're going to try to do some of this stuff and work things out like uh, the best we can. Yeah, I guess. yeah. And yeah. Uh, put forth a little more effort than... Yeah, well, you know what, and I'm about learning. I'm glad that I'm not so closed off that I, I you know, turn my back on, on growing, you know. 73, I hope to grow it, you know, as long as I'm around. And I'm planning on that being a lot longer than now, you know. So anyway, um, I just want to thank everybody for all the uh, comments. We'll, we'll get to the getting the B3 out and, and Bobby playing on that. Yeah, we'll do that. Changing the music around, room around to your studio, art studio. My art studio. So the B3 is going to be somewhere else. don't know yet where. But Yeah, we're, um, we're, we're changing things around a little bit around here. Um, the two-car garage at, at the moment is my art studio. And my caddy is sitting out in the weather, you know. <laughs> I was. I'm uh, sitting in the parking the next door now. But uh, things are going to change around in the house. You know, bringing me in the house. I, I've forgotten how it really is to, to be at <laughs> the house. You, in. you wanted to be out there in the house. Well, uh, you know, you just didn't have, I didn't want to be swamped with everything, you know, and all over the place. It doesn't matter. That's what I do. You know, that's who I am. But as far as you painting for people and, and doing that, you're not into that, are you? No, I, I, I did I, I, te I did one test run on a commission for a friend. No, I'm talking and, about videoing you while you're painting. Oh, hell no, I can't do that. No, <laughs> I, 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 no I'm not a... No, I think you've sneaked in a couple of times and videoed me. But no, I can't. I, cause, I don't paint like that. I don't paint by numbers or anything. I stand before a blank canvas and just wait for that creative principle, law, whatever it may be, to move, you know, through and for and, and as me. And so I don't know what it's going to be. It's always something new and interesting. I have to stand back and go, thank you. <laughs> And of course, you know, we've got a lot of requests to talk about Charlie Watts and, uh... So. Yeah, my only, my only, uh, he and I had a chance encounter two times. Uh, when I first went to, uh, England, and it was just Eric and me, we, and when we went to, uh, talk to the town, and, and uh, 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 this is a good story, went to talk to the town, and, uh, the Rolling Stones were sitting out in front and they had a big table. Everybody, they all had their dates and wives. And it was just Eric and me coming in and Stevie Wonder was playing. And uh, uh, it, was, it was pretty amazing. And then they passed, somebody passed a, a, a bill around, you know, uh, a handbill uh, for everybody to sign. And Mick signed it. You know, Mick Jagger, you know, and then the, um, who was he with then? I can't remember. It wasn't Bianca. Uh, but anyway, it seems, and then somebody else, and, and then Charlie, you know, and, and his wife, and everybody signed it. It came around to, to me, and I signed Rocky the Flying Squirrel. And so when it got all the way around, Mick was reading everybody. He said, who's Rocky the Flying Squirrel? <laughs> that was me. And, and you know what? I didn't feel like I belonged there. That's why I didn't sign Bobby Whitlock. Some what some, in the world made you think of Rocky the Flying Squirrel? I do squirrel? not know. I do not know. And you just said, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I said, that's me. You know? <laughs> well, what did, Mick, reason, I what did Mick say? Oh, oh, everybody got a big kick out of it. <laughs> but I think there was a whole lot of hidden something there. There was more to that than I, I knew because I wasn't sitting around thinking what to write. I didn't feel like I was one of those people, even though I was, you know, a rock star. You know. Well, you know, you downplay yourself an awful lot, so. Yeah, well, you know. You need to stop doing that. No, that's been a long time ago, you know. Okay. That's 50 something years ago. So I haven't <laughs> <laughs> spent 50 more years, 50 years running myself down, no. Or as Rocky the Flying Squirrel. Yeah. But, um,. Well, I used to go see uh, uh, Charlie when he was playing with Alexis, Alexis Corner, who was yeah, a friend, yeah. friend of mine. 
And uh, so I, I got to see Charlie quite a bit. Well, I got to jam with him when uh, I went in to talk to Jimmy Miller that time and I uh, came out and Mick asked me about playing something gospel. Hmm. And I, I said, sure. And I turned on the world at sir and flipped on the vibrato and the volume all the way up. And I started playing, uh, I just want to see his face. And Mick was writing on this little man, uh, black manuscript book. That's all right, that's all right. And then singing, scat singing. Charlie started rolling, playing. The, what was Charlie playing? Yeah, it was just some kind of, uh, uh, one snare. It was like uh, uh, part of the kit, you know, like the two, two toms, two different toms in the kit. <laughs> kind of a rumble in the jungle. And uh, uh, Mick Taylor went over and played, uh, started thumping on the bass. And so we were jamming a little while, and then what, two years later, <laughs> so, so I heard it, and my name wasn't on it. Was, oh, of course, yeah. they went in, they went in, <laughs> they went in and overdubbed those background vocals and everything else. On yeah, those, yeah, so. yeah. They, they brought it to L.A. and got, I guess, Paulie Lanier and some other girls to sing on it. Was it? I, I, it's okay. I, you know, that's, that's me. Ain't no two ways about it. I heard another something today, and it was Doris Troy. Uh, blues song, and they didn't, they were wondering who it was playing uh, piano and drums and bass. And they, you knew it was there. Of course, it was the dominoes. You know, I um, I, I, I could recognize my playing with my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've had quite a few people ask you if you have you ever met James Taylor. No, uh, no, I, I never I never did meet him. They ran in kind of a different circle of people, you know, up in the Hollywood kind of, Hills. Right, right. You know, there was a certain little clique, another little clique, and then there was a valley. The, the Eagles, Ron Yeah, Scott, they all kind of uh, hanging yeah. together. And, right. You know. Yeah, certain, the L.A. Lots of noses were in the air, you know. <laughs> <laughs> The golden days. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. I'm glad I, I survived. I got to live through them and not realize that what was going on around me, just living life, you know, doing what I did. And, uh, yeah, you can look back on them now. I have, I have great years to look back on. I have no regrets. Absolutely no regrets whatsoever. Uh, glad I did everything I did because of what I'm doing now. Right. Yeah. Uh, it took all these years to get to this place, you know, in, in this state of consciousness, and I'm exactly where I belong. You know, I know it. I know it. I'm, I'm, I'm where I should be. You know, you, you and I, even in this place, you know, where we are. And so there's a little, little, little city in the middle of this great sea of Texas. You know. Everybody knows everybody. Is that it? It's supposed to be fading. Are you fading? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm going to give you a perfect fit. No, it's kind of moving in on you, but I started started moving a little too much. No, I can't even start taking all this serious, you know, because it'll start getting serious. I don't want to get serious. Seriously funny, maybe. <laughs> well, I think we spent a lot of time kind of like just rolling with the flow. Yeah. You know, and of course there's there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes like now we have we have this record and you know, I kind of like to see it well, you do gotta, well. You got to take the, the I don't just want to the wheel, you know. Stick it out there and no, uh, uh, I, I think what you're doing and all this research and everything uh, research. about how to go about doing this, you know. We want to do it on our own label, the Domino label, and do it ourselves. But we have to incorporate other uh, people and, uh, and stuff. That's what you have to do, but well, at least you're finding out about it, you know. Yeah, it's all that stuff I've been ignoring for years. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, all those things. But you, you have an aptitude for that, and uh, I do not, you know, no. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just turn around and walk the other way. <laughs> yeah, I just turn around and walk the other way. I just don't even, 
It's de to definitely not definitely years. not your bag. I can say that for sure. Yeah. Anyway, so we're working on it, and I appreciate all the comments and um, yeah, yeah, and hope that we've been somewhat enlightening. I don't know. Well, no, I'm I'm glad that everybody appreciates these little chats we have. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have more, and. Um, yeah. Bijou, by the way, Bishu is doing very well. She, oh, yeah. she arrived in Colorado finally, and uh, I saw some photos of them. It's a beautiful part of the world, mighty tall mountains, you know. Uh, she seems to have. We've seemed to have made a good match for her. Yeah, so seems like we're grateful about that. Yeah, yeah. as well. And to everyone else, and, and we don't want to bring up the what had happened, and some people are wondering what happened. I don't want to bring it up. We really are just trying to move on and get get. Yeah, that's again. old. That's old stuff. I do. I can't, I can't say this about it. It's really a celebration, and uh, um, everybody, the, the musicians, you know. Uh, that's been. I'm glad they put it out, and however they mix it, that's their business. They have. They own the tapes. They can do whatever they wanted to. But uh, what it did, it put us back out there after all these years. You know, me, Eric, Ringo, Klaus, Woman, Gary Wright, you know, a uh, uh, guitar player, Pete Frampton, I'm sure I always go Pete Townsend. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised that he, he didn't show up. Well, Pete Townsend, yeah, too heavy for them, you know. <laughs> The room was too heavy, you know. You're talking about all things must pass. Yeah, right? that session. That was yeah. a serious band. You know, that, that, that was Billy Preston. My well, I mean, you, there's no reason that you can't continue to talk about the sessions, the, what you had done. I can still talk about just, everything. Because that, we, yeah, everything stay away, that I know, stay away, I from, stay away from all the new stuff. That's what the deal is. Yeah, I can talk about the soul and the heart of all of that. You know, what it brought it all about and what it was like being there, you know, because I know I remember every moment, you know, and I made it my business to be there every moment, you know, more than just physically, but really be there, you know, right. and become a part of that. And it was an opportunity that was presented me, and I was ready and ready to roll, looking good, and there before everybody got there, and there when they all left, you know. Every night. So, uh, All right. Thank you so much. Yeah.